Before we proceed to repairing defects of resin prints, let me remind you of the functions the ultraviolet laser torch has to help us in curing photopolymer resins. The torch has a label with safety warnings, power and wavelength ratings. It emits 405 nanometers UV light. On the back, it has a lock to disable or enable laser operation. Its diffuser head provides different patterns. By rotating the head you can change the pattern, which is useful when you want to form a smoother and larger spot on resin to be cured. The diffuser head is removable. With the head removed, the torch provides a small spot of UV light. In this video we will use the UV laser torch to repair two resin prints. This print has an undesirable groove on it. It also has suction holes which I have to close. This part cracked because I used too much force to drive the screw in. To eliminate the groove, I will first thoroughly clean it using a cotton wool disc soaked in ethanol or isopropyl alcohol. Then I'll use some resin which I poured into a small container. I apply a thin layer of resin first. Then I spread the resin evenly in the groove. Then, with the torch diffuser head installed I cure the resin. Do not hold the UV light spot for too long without moving it. Otherwise the resin may start boiling. After about 10 seconds of curing you can check whether the resin has cured by wiping it with a piece of tissue paper. As you can see it is not completely cured, so let's cure it for another couple of seconds. Now I will apply and cure the next layer. I repeat the same procedure. Let's try removing the diffuser. Now the UV ray is stronger and can penetrate deeper for better adhesion of the layers. Let's cure the back side of the groove as well. I do as many layers as I need to fill the groove. And cure the top layer avoiding boiling. Then I grind any excess with emery paper.
Wipe it with ethanol, check if more resin has to be applied, and repeat as necessary. Now I am going to cover the vent holes. I create a film of resin over the hole and cure it so that it can hold the further resin layers. Also cure it on the back side. I am done with the holes and the groove, and it's time to pre-finish the surfaces. The other part has a crack that will be repaired using the same method. I'll add some resin into the crack and just use the resin as a UV cured glue. Wipe the excess of resin and cure with the torch. Thanks for watching. 